Jemay Anderson cuts it back. Luke May Parra in the box. Go on, PK. PK. Schwamp. Yes. That's our ball as well. Yes. Yes, PK. Yes, PK. Let's Stop. go. There we go. There we go. It comes alive. Go on, Luke. You're through. Stay in front of them. Great touch. Can you finish? We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. It's an absolute festival of football this weekend. We've got four home games in a row. This is the second one. Last night, our reserves played. They scored quite a few goals, including one by the man holding the camera right now, Marcus Stampy. Of course, scored our first ever goal in non-league. Yes, He's still course. banging them in. A lot of these games are streamed, guys. You've become members. You can watch these games live. Full 90 minutes, just like the reserve game last night. We've got a women's game tomorrow, which would have already happened by the time you see this video. But we've also got a, uh, a semi-final. Final Monday night that's been streamed for the men. Big semi final. Then on Wednesday, big game for the women again against local rivals Billericay. If you're a member, you can watch these games live, get involved, Do have it. a say in Do who it. gets player of the match Absolutely. as well. So follow the links in the description, join and become a member. Or even better, if you're local, or even if you're not local, we've got a fan from Isle of Wight today, lots of people travelling all over the place. Come to a game, especially as we haven't got many left here at Bowers. Yeah. Obviously, we've announced now the men are moving to Avely next season. Same ground that the women play at. So if you want to see a collector's item, a hashtag Bowers before even a semi-final Monday night come down we'd love to see you today we are playing Margate now we drew with them at their place earlier in the season since yeah. then they have had a real difficult period of form they're very much in a relegation battle here we're you could argue not playing for too much in the league at this point I think the playoffs are probably beyond us but obviously we've got a big semi-final coming up so there's lots of places to play for what are you expecting from today Spen I'm gonna be honest I'm feeling bullish you're feeling good I'm feeling bullish today that performance, the last league game we played in against Billericay, who were third in the league at the time, I think we were unbelievable yeah, we that were. game. Some of the ticky-tacker stuff, how good we were in front of goal. I'm backing the boys to continue that just where we left off. I fancy a really strong performance today. I'd love some goals. I'd love a clean sheet as well. I think you could argue that Billericay game, considering the quality of the opponent and the level we now play at, from the men's team perspective, is probably yeah. our best ever performance. I, I agree. I think I've said that in the commentary last week. Uh, I would love us just to keep that form in the league going, put some wins together, start climbing up. Love to get top 10, Spen. Yeah, we? get in love that to. top 10 and never know what could happen. But yeah, still, still some big games to come. Yeah. But let's see what we can do against Margate today. Of course, they've got Ben Greenhall up front. Yes. The man who won football next style, played for Inter Milan. He's got a Champions League medal, yeah, that good stuff. Out for him, that's for sure. But can he win on a tepid day? in Basildon against Hashtag. We're going to find out. <laughs> Let's take a look at the team Devs is sending out to battle. So in goal today is Joshua Strizovic in defence. Nathan Smith's at left back. Jermaine Anderson's back in at right back after being cup tied in our quarterfinal in the week. And at centre back it is Harry Haysom and Tom Anderson. In midfield, Matty Waldridge returns to the midfield after picking up man of the match against Billa Ricky last week. PK's also back in there after missing the cup game in the week. And Max Cornhill is starting again as well. What a midfield free that is. With Sakasan ahead of them, Misha Jamali starting on the right as well. He is top goal scorer at the club now. And up front, we have Luke May Parrott, second top goal scorer. On the bench, Pedro Carvalho, Sam Cornish, Alex Teniola, Greg Halford and William Dupre. Up the tags. Right, seen the side, just the one change from last Saturday. Um, then we expect to be a 3-5-2. Greenhold tends to start up top if they do play that. So he's the one we've got to be careful of if we get the ball into feet. He's got very, very good quality. Other than that, they haven't got a great amount of legs in them. So I expect us to, to really run them through, through, through the midfield. Um, Matt E, PK in there, I want you to come in and do exactly what you did last week. I just want us to really, really go and play with, as always we ask you, like the energy and enthusiasm that's needed. This, this go and turn the screw. They come to us devoid of confidence. They've got no contact, they're almost turning up to games. But if we allow them to get a foothold, they will gain confidence from that. So the speed at which we start the game, the, the, the pressure we put on them, will dictate how tough an afternoon it'll be for us. Joe, let's go, come on. PK's going to get us underway after he sells some Margate players a dummy, as usual. And here we are. Haysom is going to lump it, as you know. He's going to go short to Sakasan on the left. Beats his man early doors. Can we get a very feisty start here for the tags as Sack looks to play it in the box, but he's dispossessed and there's a free kick. Waldridge to Max. Nice, PK. The middle three linking up there. PK just gets a toe to it, finds Max. Another Ooh. late one in the middle for me. Ref does want to let it play today. Nick that, Mish. Go on. Yeah, Good, well Jermaine. In. Well done. Good head. Clipped forward by Jermaine. Matty heads it. 
PK. Look, it's all kinds of off the ball stuff. And PK is just. Our way as well. PK. Our way. Our way. Yes, We've that. got one of the guys from my uh, BJJ school here today, and he would have enjoyed that toss over the shoulder from PK. By the way, I wouldn't hate a shot from here. Really, just because of the keeper's positioning. I, I think Zach, Zach would need an extra steps run up. He's not far enough back to get the power. That's an unbelievable oh, cross, match. by the way. Oh, he's no. offside anyway. But you've got to hit the target there, surely. I mean, definitely got to hit the target. But I mean, he must have been five yards offside to have that much time and space. Cornhill with the switch. Beautiful. Two vets linking up. Nathan Smith finds Saka San. Here comes the fancy footwork and he gets the ball away quick. And Max gets it to Matty. Matty now looking for oh, Saka. Great football. He's got two players in the box to composure, aim at Saka. Composure. Of course, it's another one for Misha <laughs> Javaili. He can't stop scoring. It's a very lucky 13 for the season for him. Well, listen, Spen, there, used, there was a time when those sort of chances, there was a lack of composure, there was panicking, there was thrashing at the ball, absolutely none of it there. We had the men over, we had the time, all the quality in the world needed on the pass. And he's a man who puts the ball in the back of the net, Spen. How many goals is that for him now this season? 13. 13 goals. I mean, fair play, son. Fair not, play. Not only is he top goal scorer, it was assisted by our top assister, Saka Sands, so the two top of the charts linking up there. You, go, you love to see it. You love to see it. Early goal is what we want to see. It's a nice build-up to mention, though. It all started from the switch from Max to Nathan. Then Matty Waldridge gets involved after Max touched it again. Great through ball from Matty to Sack, which really did really open nice it ball. up, didn't it? Yeah. Matty Waldridge. Goal, that is. Clip. He won't give up, you know. He's going to make it. He won't give it up. He has done. He has done. He's got there. Look at him go. Jermaine Anderson cuts it back. Luke May Parrott in the box. Goes for the shot. There wasn't really an angle on. And now Jermaine's offside. Uh, that's disappointing. But you know what? As a striker and a goal poacher that Luke is, he's ever so hard. Unless there's a really obvious ball on to not pull the trigger there. But, you I mean, keeper's in the right place at the right time. It's good position from him. Basically, no worries he could put it other than there, right down his throat. Oh. Deal with it. Oh, oh wow. Well done. Look at, him. Look at that. Break dancing from Tom Anderson. What can't he do? PK now looking to uh, frustrate some people. The four is a bit tenacious. So I think he's there to be got out. Hello. Hello. You know what? He's going to get there. He's going to get there. Mish, get in that area you love to be. Luke, I thought maybe he could have swung a left foot at that. But he gets it into Mish. Mm. And that is a corner kick. Take it. If there's a stat for like, you know, a lot of people talk about strikers having that sort of right place, right time, mm. arrival. Like Mish has got 20. <laughs> yeah, 20. Yeah, he has. Positioning, isn't it, I guess? Or goal for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Goal for it. Frank Lampard was the comparison yeah. Eddie made the other day. I think yeah. it's very, very I good. Think, I think I like that a lot. Sakasan, corner. Oh, he's going to drop in the box. There it is. Oh, and it's Nathan Smith in the roof of the net. 2-0 to the tags. And a hybrid sort of half suey, half frog splash we got there from Nathan Smith. The, the veteran defender. We know he's got goals in him. He scored two on his hashtag debut years ago in about a five-minute sub exactly a year ago, actually. And now he's got one there rollocked into the top corner. It landed down, and they can so easily go over the bar. He's kept his head, head over it, and it's 2-0, uh, Spenny. Yeah, that is a top quality finish. Nathan Smith, what a season he is having at both ends of the pitch. He got an assist on Monday night. The only goal of the game that got us to a penalty shootout and he scored there as well. Great corner from Sakasan causing the initial problem. 2-0, come on. PK, keep that. PK shepherding things here today. Absolute general type performance. Oh, Mies just held up there. There's a lot you of off the at ball Jermaine stuff. Gone for it. He's kept oh, it. Look, look, look. Go on, Lukey. Nick it, nick it. Oh, oh. he's got away. That's a hell. Hell 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 Go on, PK. PK. Yes. That's our bro as well. Yes. Yes, PK. Yes, PK. Let's go. There we go. There we go. It comes alive. Mish is uh, Salah. She can't stop yeah. scoring. Yeah. Um, Luke May Parrot is uh, a region. Firmino. No, Firmino. <laughs> and then you've got Man Saki's Mane. It's not bad. Yeah, it works. PK. Lovely pass into Haysom. He's got a bit of room here. He might shoot. He, he might shoot. He's, he's been... He's hit it. He's gone target. That's hurt the oh, centre-back, that really one, has. by the way. Oh, he's, oh, gone, he's down. gone down. Oh, stop, 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 stop. That's, that's nasty. That was a head, wasn't it? That's a head. That was actually a knockout. Yeah. I hope he's all right. That looked horrible. Yeah. Harry Hudson is up. That's great. Wish him the best. Go and get what you, what you need, mate. Well, he's Take going a, off the uh, pitch as if he's... Oh, it's just the nearest point, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Take a breather. Get yourself down hospital. Get a scan. Yeah, he's Not ideal. His time over there. He's been subbed off and he's been replaced by uh, Lewis Knight, I believe. Oh, very tall man. 
I think if you're not in the seven figure for average for the season, it's hard to be in the POTS conversation. Yeah, maybe. I haven't analysed data to prove that yet. But oh, oh that, no, that could, could be go. bad. Mish could go here. Mish could go here. Oh, I know. He wasn't looking at the I player. Know, I know, I know. He, he put his hands up straight away. It was an error. Uh, I mean, if he sends him off, it, it won't be a surprise. Will no, it? that's the thing is, it's one of them where it's not malicious, but it's maybe a little bit, what's the right word, sort of just careless. Just careless. Careless yeah. is the word, yeah. he, he was trying to bring the ball down, 100%, but yeah. ultimately... Well, we're going to see a lot about the ref here. I'll I think take it. we've got away with one there, I'll be honest. I right, listen, let's be honest. If yeah, that yeah. happens to us, we are spitting. Yeah, 100%. We are spitting. If I'd seen dangerous. red there, you wouldn't have heard a complaint from me. Not at all. Hornchurch losing. No one in the top four wow. winning. Who are, they, who are they playing, Hornchurch? Bogner. Corner in. Cornhill looking for it. Hayson gets in the May Wald is on the left oh. foot. It wasn't miles away. It was and it was nicely hit. He managed to resist the urge to lean back and sort of got over the ball, just not quite enough. Almost a bit of a knuckleball action on that one, Spen. Nearly top bins. Goal kick. If he hits the target, it's in there. Oh, yeah, it's unsavable. Free kick comes in here. Max doesn't get there. Goes oh, right wow. across the goal face. Ben Greenhall picks it up on the edge. Don't let him shoot. Oh, He's got miss. technique. Oh, Luke's going to get something there. Oh, see you later. One on one, one, one. This is your bread and butter, my son. We know parrots love bread. We know parrots love butter. He gives it to Sack. He plays it inside to PK on the turn. Can he shoot? He does. Good save. All I can say, Spen, is lovely move. Luke, first of all, good composure. You've got to give it to the defender. He got back and made life difficult for Luke there. Gave me sort of shades of Michael Owen, but he made the right decision. PK there, could he have passed it before he shot? We know he wants a goal, but I think if he lays that to the right-hand side, it's another tap-in simple one like we had earlier. Misha Jamali on the corner as we approach the end of the first half. Curling in towards the keeper. Oh. Nathan Smith, he's got another one. Oh, wow. What a player. and What a game he's having. Ben, you called it. It's an assist for Misha Jamali, and it's the second goal of the game for Nathan Smith. We talked about him getting two goals in his debut. He's got two today. Brilliant ball in, and he just aimed it and helped it on its way to the top left-hand corner just before half-time. No better time to go 3-0 up. It's almost exactly one year since his debut, since those two goals, which were off the bench, by the way, against Tilbury. We talked about it last video. Uh, because of uh, the Canna moments, we went back and looked yeah. at it, and it was almost like a year ago. What Beautiful. a player he's been in the last 365 days. What is our best result this season? I mean, the best result for me was a bit of a Ricky one. But in terms of goals goal and scores, yeah. though. Um, have we won any games by three goals? Uh, oh, yeah, we had a Code Cup gun. We smashed one team, uh, didn't we? Hang on, they've got a chance here. Jermaine Anderson stays with him, forces the shot wide from Mohamed Ahmed. He's got to hit it first time. He's done the right thing. He's let the ball run across his body, but it's just ever so hard to time that properly and go back across goal, which is maybe what he would like to have done. Striz, no real stress as that one floats wide the post. Billerick, he was three or four? Four, two, yeah, wasn't it? Was, yeah. But it's about the yeah. margin of victory. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'd always say a 3 0 is maybe better than a 4 1. No, 4 1's better, isn't it? 4 1's better. Scoring 4 is better. No, I think 3 0 is better. Clean sheet. And there's the half time whistle. Fantastic first half of the tags. Margate in real trouble. And the way things are looking, you'd be surprised if they're in this league next season. But still 45 minutes to play. Let's see how we do. Well done. It's gone as well as we could have hoped for and expected. But there are some real, real vital key points within this that are, that are important to us. We have to make sure that we're switched on to any changes they or any tweaks they make. And we make decisions around in that. Um, there's loads of opportunity for us to keep the ball and play through the thirds and we've missed that opportunity at times. We've got to make sure open body, particularly Max, you're picking up real great areas and then you almost go too safe for your pass. And can there be information on the passes? That's the key. Can we get better at giving information on our passes? So if we're going in and he can turn out, scream at him to open his body and turn out. If we go lazy and we invite them onto us and they nick a gut, it becomes a long afternoon. Just don't stop, don't go negative, don't get cocky, don't get Larry, don't do, leave all of that to him, because he's a f***ing clown, that's what he's good at, leave all of that stuff to him, concentrate on your game, keep f***ing working. Don't be complacent, yep. I want a clean sheet out of today, right, that's the minimum we come off with is a clean sheet out of today, don't f give cheat goals away. Here we go then for the second half, no changes for the tags, so I do expect that to change as uh, Dev starts thinking about Monday night's semi-final, maybe resting a few legs. Oh, 
No, what's it got? Lining. That's... Yeah, he folded it inside out. All right. This guy's the danger. He's the Yeah, he got rid of Alex and Wobi about him. And the end of everything they make. Cadell Daniel gets it over to Toby Stevenson. Mish Jamali back on the ball for the tags. Can the way, he's onside. He's onside. 100% on, on. onside. Go on, Luke, you're through. Stay in front of them. Great touch. Can you finish? Oh, oh. he's hit it so well. He's done everything right there. This is a guy that is after my own heart. This is the striker I used to love being in football. I didn't play up front for hashtag, but in my younger days, I was a striker playing on the last man, running for those one-on-ones, and he's made ever such a good contact on it, but he's just sailed wide, Spenny. Done the hardest bit, though, beat the line. It was a brilliant timed run. I guarantee you he was onside. Show every replay you want. I watched that perfectly. Had a great angle. Oh, it would have been lovely to go four up, wouldn't it? Even outside his right foot's fine. I think that as he goes, he's just got to lift because there's the keepers falling. Not quite make its oh. target. Ref lets that go. Ref lets a little bit too much go for my life. Yeah, he, I think he's gone a little too far oh, now. Go on, Mish. That's superb play. Misha Jamali for yeah. Luke. Hit the shot. Oh, he pulls it across instead. Sacks there. Good defending. Really nice awareness from Luke. The angle is narrowing down all the time. I wonder if he could have played that back to Mish actually, but he's put it right across the danger area. And he's defended nicely in the end. Going to be a corner to the tags. Oh, Harry Hayton wants it quick, Spend. Corner coming post. in. Keep oh, it in. in. Oh, wow. This, I think Sack's claiming that straight from the corner. I've, I don't think we've seen one of them for a while for the tags, if ever. I think I had one once. Did you? Oh, I remember. Yes. For free however, kick on it. That was a free kick. However, on. that is straight in, I think. Sack. Now, do you get, do you get the assist for winning the corner? Yeah, technically yeah, you maybe do. Maybe you do. Who won it? Uh... It would have been, oh, Luke May Parrot laid it across. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know, know if you do. I, I think that might be niche. Might be a pre assist niche for that. Yeah, pre assist maybe, but Sakasan, he's done what you need to do sometimes, putting that dangerous ball, using the wind, looping towards the keeper, and he's maybe just been a little bit fooled by the wind. Maybe he's a little bit out of position. We won't mind. 4 0 spin, and we've got a chance for our best win of the year. Lewis Knight on the ball here for Margate. Playing right centre back now. Plays it into the youngster, who's come off the bench and looked lively, Finn Rutherford. Good pass as well for Ben Greenhall. Good feet in the box, and it's in. That is so disappointing. The clean sheet is gone, unfortunately, once again. Massive opportunity for a clean sheet today. He's done well there with his feet. Was that definitely him that struck that? It wasn't Cornish that uh, kicked that in. No, I think it was him. So the goal scorer is the man from Football's Next Star, former Inter Milan player, Champions League winner. And now on his resume, he can add... Uh, hashtag United goal scorer against them. That's the top of the resume, I'd imagine. Jamiley. In for Greg, maybe on Nathan oh, with a hat trick no, opportunity. That is heartbreaking. Oh, what a chance for a, not many people can say they've got hashtag, hashtag hat tricks. Certainly not in non league. Wow, not a defender either. Oh. oh. Who's going to be this final sub then? Because it's a bit of a sub lottery AT's right now. AT's going to come on. We've got three yellows though, haven't we? Oh, oh what a wow. flick that is. Luke to Mish. Mish, back to Luke. Can you pull it back? He does. That's oh. so unselfish. I would actually say maybe too unselfish. No, I think it's the right decision. But he could have, do you know he could have waited? He could have taken a touch because he would take that ball blind. Cornish to PK. Come back. Greg to Matty. Oh. Right oh. at his throat. He's going to hit one. Oh, my oh, that's word. That's clipped the post. I think that's clipped the post, Ben. Because the keeper's not made contact. It's no corner. Do you know what? What can he not do? Is he good at DIY? Can he cook? There's got to be something. There's one way to find out. He's cooking right now, that's for sure. That hit the post, oh. didn't it? Sent forward by Seedon. Greg Halford wins it. Oh, now he's gone down. Oh, uh -oh. head injury sake. potential. Kicked it away as well. So we're down to 10 momentarily here. Little chance here for Lewis Knight. Back to goal. Puts it over to the right back. Sack goes with him. Does go out of play. Corner. Can Greg come back on for this? Yeah, he's back on. Corner to be taken by the Margate goal scorer at the near post. Oh my God! And now it's four-two. That is calamity. I mean, I, I, listen. I think Sam Cornish has got to take some blame for that. He's the man at the near post. He's gone right <laughs> over his head. Last week, four-two. This week, four-two. 
very, very different story. But this is just, it's got to be a lapse of concentration for the last 20 minutes, really. Maybe we've just felt the game was over. It was over, and it probably still is over. Nick that, Nick that. What well on, Matty. Matty. Was it in the box? Is it in the box? Oh, that looks. I'll tell you what. One hand in, one hand out, would it? Remarkably close, that. What are the rules on that? Come on, get it. Oh, how's Mish lost his foot in there? Oh, man's on a hat trick here. So's our left back, though. Don't let him shoot. Oh, wow. He can hit them. Oh, my gosh. Champions League winner, mate. <laughs> Haysom's tried to spray it over to Mish. Oh, you got it. You'd absolutely hate to play against him, wouldn't you? You'd absolutely hate him. Mish, play it. It's another late one. AT, can't hold on to it, though. We're just not looking like we did in the first no, half right now. Very at scrappy, all. very bitty. And they're Lacking forward again quality. here. It's three on three. We've got some shirts coming back. Greg's got to hold him up. Great, Good tackle. Excellent from Halford. Oh, Good turn. Right, get it over to the left. You've got to get over to the left. Mish is there, though, on the right. So this is Looking where AT. he's onside. He's onside. On AT, you've got three on PK, one here. PK's 5 Does two. he shoot? Does he pass? Oh, he's the got it all wrong. World's worst pass. He had too long to think about it, and he overthought it and undercooked it. It was, the right, it was the right decision to not shoot, but Agreed. he just got the pass wrong. And he was so he was lacking so much intensity. He was doing it like a walking pace. Very oh. surprising for a man of his ability. He wanted to play next Saturday, Jermaine, though, against his old team. He did not end things amicably there at Potters Bar. Really? Well. Okay. By the way, Strizz's kicking looks like oh, he's incredible. Hey! Oh, he can shot. He can play sack instead. Or can he fake it and shoot? Can he go to sack? He does. Oh. Shoot in the end. And it's wide. He had him on strings but How there. composed does he look? The right back. The number two. Looks like he's a fox in the box striker. I mean, he's put a lot of shots wide today. But they've been very close. And he looked ever so in control there, didn't he? Could he have played sack in maybe? I don't hate you, though. Jermaine to Matty. Into Mish. Oh, oh almost, nearly great. Almost. Come on, Sammy. Oh, he's offside, Lion, he's offside! Oh, wow. Chance here for Margate. Oh, all sorts of... This is the danger man. He's past Greg. Puts it in the box. He wants the hat-trick, this lad. He wants it on his left foot every time. Good hand, Striz. Very good hands from Striz are there. Very, very solid. He's done that a couple of times in the second half. That'll do. That's the right idea. Greg. That's nice. <laughs> Slick with... Ping pong. How has he been allowed to come and pick this up here? He's going to go onto his left foot. Don't show him that way. That'll Don't let him go onto well, his left foot there. Make him go on his right. He's going to hit this as well. He's got a good free kick on him. Oh, Champions League winner. gosh. It's so unnecessary. Right. Chance for a Champions League winner to score a hat-trick against the Tags here. Let's deny it, boys. Deny it. There you go. That's all right. Seedon's kick. He's forward. Up. Alford. Greg, brilliant. That'll do ya. Masterful. Oh, and you're oh, in. That's not He's in. He's not no, 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 no. 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 They're sending no, back. No, no. He can't be. He's literally Are they player. saying it's when Greg touched it, though? They're when Greg hit, sent it uh, forward. I mean, uh, maybe. That's there. And that's the final whistle. And it, it's a shame it ended 4-2. It could have been a much cleaner victory and a cleaner sheet. But we'll take the three points. Seb, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, Spain just unnecessary, wasn't it? Real shame. But let's not take the shine off it. Really, really good performance from the tags in the first half. Got the job done then. Maybe a little bit complacent, but we'll let them have it. Focus now goes on to the Cup on uh, Monday night, the semi-final. For player of the match, I'm going to say he's not often you get two goals. And he had a chance for a hat-trick from defence. Nathan Smith was brilliant today. Not just the goals. His all-round performance, excellent. Another player of the match award for him, courtesy of our friends at UFL. Yeah, that's it for today. Have a look at the league table. You can see it's always nice to get three points. And we can see where we end up this season. But all attention now to Monday night's semi-final. Let's book our place in a final if we can. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Head over to the Extra channel to see the post-match reaction. Until next time, up the tags.